All right, listen up. It is your boy T Walk, aka Hard by the Tough Report and Live. Thanks for tuning in. I am not a professional video maker. Therefore, with that being said, if you have any questions, I kid you not, I will reply to each and every last one of your questions, even if it's specific to you and your school. Obviously, you're here because you want to make your life better, and I have the answers. All right, just subscribe to my channel, and I promise I will get to your questions. All right, I'm trying to practice this video without using my hand, so it's a good thing I have these crutches and a brace on. All right, so without further ado, uh, let's jump into it. This video is about radiology pathways and things that I didn't know before starting the radiology program. So, first things first, to be an x-ray tech, you have to go to x-ray school. So, don't waste your money to go to a four-year university to get a bachelor's in radiology. That does nothing for you. That's just the admin side. People ask me so many times, well, why don't I just get a bachelor's in radiology? No. X-ray, MRI, CAT scan, nuclear medicine, radiation oncology, they're all two-year programs. Every single last one of them. And they all make different money. So... What I didn't know is that I sold myself short. I wanted to make the, the most money I could in radiology. Here's the thing. If you go to x-ray school, which is a two-year program, go to Joe Smo X-ray Community College or whatever it is that's in your city or nearby, go to that place because it's going to be the cheapest and the best money for the butt, best thing for its buck. So you're going to you know go there and you're going to do a didactic and you're gonna go do on the job training. So then therefore you can take the test. If you get a four year bachelor's degree, you you can't take the test because you didn't do on the job training. That makes sense? So let me give you an analogy. That's like wanting to be a cop and then you go to a four year university to get a bachelor's in criminal justice. And then you go and apply to be a cop. They're going to say, well, this is just a degree in criminal justice. You have to go to the academy. So that's the equivalent. Academy, x-ray school. Same thing. You have to go to x-ray school, not a bachelor's. Okay, so now that that's out of the way and that made sense to everyone, we can move on. So, like I said, all these programs are two-year programs. So... You can cross, if you get registered in x-ray, you can cross train to ultrasound, you can cross train to MAMO, you can cross train to MRI, you can cross train to CT, you can cross train to bone density, and all those make different money. Out of all those I mentioned, the highest you can become is, a, is an MRI technologist. So MRI makes 35, 40, 45 bucks an hour, it depends on which state you live in. In Texas, it's like 35 to 40 bucks an hour. California is like 45 to 50, same as New York. So just generalize where you stay at. So if you stay in Kansas, Idaho, Mountain Home, Idaho, it's going to be like, you know, 30 bucks an hour. So, like I said before in my other videos, x ray starts at $22 an hour in Texas. Somewhere in like California, it could be like 28 or 30 bucks an hour for x ray. So judge on that, you know, use your, you know, your common sense to figure out how much it would pay in your state, city, whatever. So, like I was saying, if you get registered in x-ray, you're limiting yourself to only 40 bucks an hour because the highest cross training you can do is MRI. So, the good thing for you is that everyone lives in a different place in a different city. So, if your city has an MRI school, you can go straight into MRI versus wasting your money to go to x-ray school. And I'll get it, I'll expand on that later on at the end of this video because some places want you to have all three so they can make you do x-rays and MRI. Well, not all three, but both of them. They want you to have be registered with x-ray and MRI so they can make you do both but only give you MRI salary. And that's not right. So 
just go straight to MRI school to get the 40 bucks an hour versus selling yourself short and going to x-ray school. So the pinnacle of success in radiology is nuclear medicine and radiation oncology. Radiation oncology is where they shoot the radiation at people's body parts, abdomen, chest, neck, wherever, to zap the cancer to get rid of it. So those pay 80, 90, $100,000 a year. So just go to radiation oncology school or nuclear medicine school. It's also a two year program. So you don't have to get registered in x-ray and then go on to radiation oncology. You can't cross train. So if you're an x-ray tech and you wanna cross train into nuclear medicine or radiation oncology, you can't because you have to go to radiation oncology or nuclear medicine school. So just go to the school and then start off with 70, 80, 90, $100,000 a year. You're your own boss there because you're the one, only person that's above you is the doctor. There's no nurse or anyone above you because you are the tech who administers the radiation and you figure out how much radiation is going into the patient. So that's the best advice I can give you. And a lot of places don't want you to know that. They don't want you to know that. But more than likely, there's not a nuclear medicine or radiation oncology school in your city. So uh, that's why a lot of people only have the option of going to x-ray school. You dig what I'm saying? So if you have any questions, Hit me up in the comments. All you have to do is subscribe and I will get to you. I kid you not. And if you want to commit suicide and add me on PlayStation Network, on Call of Duty or Madden, my gamer tag is Hard Body Tough. Capital H, capital B, capital T. Capital Hard Body Tough. Everything else is lowercase. All right. Peace. Something else comes to my mind, I'll add it to the end of this video. All right.